Hey y'all, welcome back to Tina Smooth TV. Uh, I'm in my prayer closet where all the blessings happen. Um, I want to tell y'all about my GED journey. My GED start journey started in 2019 uh, when I realized that it was best for me to try to get a better education, like educate myself. So in 2019, I think I started in August. So from August to September, I had passed all three subjects, language, art, science, and social studies. But then I got to math, and when I got to math, it was a struggle for me. So it was like a hard, hard thing for me, math. But I took it four times. I passed it by six points three times, and then the fourth fourth time, I, pa I, I mean, I missed it by three six points three times, and then the fourth time, I missed it by five points. But so I was like, God, like, what is it? Because, you know, they say faith without works is dead. So I was like, God, what is it? I'm I'm studying. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Like, why haven't I passed this test? And like, just me, just after I made this prayer clause, it starts writing stuff down and putting it on my wall and spending time with God. Like, God is starting to reveal things to me. And what he revealed to me about my GED, like, being that I want to do a lot for my for my community for the homeless like i want to build houses for the homeless i want to build schools for people children in need i want to build like a whole community basically is what i want to do so all those things i want to do like i want to open up my own law firm like i'm gonna have to be good with money like real good not just no a plus not no one plus two good like i'm gonna have to be really good with finances and like accounting i'm gonna have to be really good at these things so in order for me to do the things that god has called me to do math is gonna have to be one of my number one subjects so that's why i chose math so 